So today we're going to be looking at the Silky Saw Big Boy 2000. Now this is my absolute favorite handsaw. This thing is super smooth. I've had it for a couple of years and it just glides through wood. Uh, I've already taken down a small tree right here and I'm going to be showing you how easy this is to use, why I love it, and why I recommend it to have it amongst your preparedness items. So we're out here at the cabin and there's definitely a lot of trees around and I got to take a bunch of them down one because they're blocking my cell signal and we need to have at least a little bit of cell reception that way in case there's an emergency we can get some help up here because we are five miles away from the closest neighbor but also you can see this big tree is way too close to the cabin this is a big danger if there's like a windstorm or something like that so the silky saw is what I keep around here because this thing really glides right through wood especially live softwood. Now I highly recommend having this scabbard. The reason is, is because it goes right onto your belt. It easily clips on and clips off. I can even do it one handed. But the point is, this allows me a safe place to store this. And you actually put the bending side in first. That's how you put it in. If you put it in the other way, it's a little too floppy. It doesn't hold it in nice and secure. So I've already chopped down this little tree right here. Now I'm gonna keep part of this tree right here uh, mostly because it's holding up our chimney pipe. Now, when the cabin was built and the gas stove was put in, they just put this heat diffuser right against the wall. And you can see all that soot that built up on the wall there. So we had to bring it out. So since we're going to be killing this tree, essentially, I'm just going to keep it as a post for holding the chimney. And then we don't have to worry about it falling on our roof. So I pull this out. And I've already got it going here a little bit. I'm going to try to cut it as flat as I can. What you're looking for in a saw is how big the sawdust is coming off. If you've got real fine sawdust, that tells you that your blade's not sharp. I've been using this for over two years. Uh, I take it camping with me all the time. If I had to choose between a saw and a machete, I would absolutely take a silky saw. It is a hundred times faster than trying to chop through a tree with a machete or even an axe. An axe is good for splitting, but for doing activities like this, the saw is really best. I want to make sure this isn't a super heavy thick tree. I want to make sure I don't hit the camera or anything. Just about ready to go. So I think I'm going to go ahead and push it off. It's gonna fall right this way. I'm gonna move the camera first. Hopefully everything goes all right. Timber! I'll take that. Perfect. I like that. Clean this off, it's nice and flat. Now for delimbing, sometimes I'll use a machete or even a small hatchet, but this also works really well for delimbing. You see it just goes right through the branches, very easy here. You want to make sure you use the whole length of the blade as much as you can when you're cutting. We'll end up drying this and probably splitting it for wood down at the fire pit. See that? Just a couple of strokes and it gets through this branch.
you can see just like that in a couple of minutes I delimbed the majority of the the big part here about 10 feet or so and then I got all these limbs here that I can now break up dry out take to the burn pile and all without having to use an axe or machete or anything so I'll probably use a machete to break up these little limbs here break them down so they're easier to manage so I need to also take out this little tree and when you're using saws axes knives anything like that really ideally what you need to do is make sure that if I was cutting for example like this that if I slip through that I go in between my legs if I'm cutting like this I have the chance of slipping through and hitting my foot, or my leg, or something like that. You want to make sure you're using proper safety. Okay, so you can see I actually just took down this big tree right here. Uh, I'm gonna leave this tree trunk here for now because we're actually gonna, we're actually thinking of doing something with this. And so I don't wanna cut it down just yet. But you can see there is the slash pile, uh, all the big branches and everything. And I did all of it with the silky saw and a machete. And uh, the majority of it with the silky saw. So you can see there's quite a bit here. Um, definitely gonna have to get a big dump trailer for all of this. But it just goes to show that when you've got a nice sharp saw you can get a lot done i really really do like the silky saw one of the things i wanted to mention about it is it's actually made in japan uh, a lot of things are made in china as you guys know but this is completely done in japan and japan is obviously well known for their metals and their glass and stuff like that they do really high quality work in japan now one of the things you need to keep in mind is this does need to be cleaned from time to time it's kind of hard to tell because of the sun but down in these teeth especially cutting live soft wood uh, there's a lot of sawdust and stuff that can build up in here and so you want to make sure that you can clean that out every now and then uh, normally what i do is just cut some hardwood and that seems to clean it out pretty well actually uh, you can see i actually broke a tooth off here that was some time ago and i did that because i was kind of using it to whack limbs like this and that's not a very good idea so i found out the hard way not to do that but uh, i like this so much that i have two of them it definitely does an amazing job and i definitely highly recommend it so if you've been looking for a lightweight saw that does a lot of hard work, then I definitely recommend you taking a look at the Silky brand. Again, I'm not affiliated with them. They didn't send me this as a promotion. I pay for everything out of my own pocket. This is just something that I really love. It's very handy. It's very lightweight. Having the scabbard makes it very easy to keep around. Uh, when I go on backpacking trips, I take this with me. And one of the other things is it's got actually two locking positions. So if you're working really low, this gives you a little bit higher handle to work with or if you're working high or at level, then the first notch I find to be most useful. Pretty much I always use the first notch. I rarely, rarely ever use the second notch, but that is an option that's built in there. It's a very solid safety right here, works very well. I think my only gripe I have about it is when I go to close it, sometimes it goes straight in. Usually it gets hung up right on the edge, right down here. So it'd be, it would've been nice if there was some sort of angled piece of metal or something like that right in here this would just slip right in but that's really not a big issue uh, but sometimes it just takes another half a second or a couple seconds to get that locked in if you found this video review helpful please click the like share or subscribe button or all of them if you think someone would benefit from this video please share it with them let me know if there's any other saws that you guys like that compare with the silky saw this is the best one that i have found i've tested about three or four so I'm not an expert when it comes to saws by any means, but for how light this is and how hard it works and all that I've been able to do with it over two years now, uh, I can definitely recommend the Silky Saw Big Boy. They do have other sizes that are smaller, even to huge ones. They call it like the Katana or something like that. Uh, if you're interested in those, there'll be links down below. Or if you're interested in this one as well, I'll have a link down below of where I got mine. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.